Hello everyone, welcome to Dental Mate. Today in this video, we'll be talking about a structural feature of pulp that is the zones of pulp or the histology of pulp. Let's get started. See, the zones of pulp or the histology of pulp demarcate a specialized odontogenic region in the pulp. It circumscribes the pulp peripherally and it has four different layers. First up is the odontoblastic zone. Next is the cell free zone. Thereafter is the cell rich zone of the pulp. Last is the pulpal zone. Okay, so this is from outer to the innermost. Outermost is odontoblastic. O and O you can remember like that. Odontoblastic is the outermost. Then free rich pulp. Okay, so after odontoblast outer we have free rich pulp. Free zone, rich zone and then pulpal zone. First of all, if we talk about the odontoblastic zone, it is the most peripheral zone of the pulp. Now, it is located next to predentine. Suppose this is the layer of predentine, this demarcated with light blue color, this is predentine layer. Okay. Just adjacent to the predentine towards the pulp is the odontoblastic zone. It contains odontoblast, which is the, it contains cell bodies of odontoblast, which is what? the dentine forming cells along with that numerous nerve fibers enter these zones zones and they terminate between these odontoblasts what is its function they lay down dentine and they provide nourishment to the dentine through pulp vessels after the odontoblastic zone towards the inner side is the cell free zone the cell free zone is a thin layer. It is also known as sub odontoblastic layer or the zone of will. This zone contains very few cells, numerous bundles of reticular core fibers. Okay, it contains plexus of capillaries and nerves. Along with that, there is nerve plexus of Rashko, which is, which is present in these cells. What are these nerve plexus of Rashko? These are the networks of nerve fibers that have lost their myelin sheath. This arises from the pulp which is present in the core. Now these terminal naked free fibers are the dendrites of sensory nerves and are specific receptors of pain. Okay, so what happens is basically there is a sub odontogenic plexus of nerves which is present along with numerous bundles of reticular fibers or the cough fibers there is a plexus of nerves which is present these are the non myelinated nerves these nerves have lost their myelin sheath they are arising from the pulpal core they terminate their terminals are naked free fibers and these dendrites are specific receptor dendrites are specific receptors of pain after the cell free zone is the cell rich zone okay now if we talk about the cell free zone ka significance kya hai so it is utilized by the odontoblastic cell to move towards the pulp during dentine formation okay now cell rich zone it is three to four cell layer thick it is also known as zone of renagio it is located under the cell free zone now they contain flattened stellate or fusiform cells mainly fibroblast and undifferentiated mesenchymal cells along with that some amount of macrophages immunocompetent cells and young collagen fibers are also present now what is the significance of these cell layer see the fibroblasts produce collagen fibers type 1 mainly and sometimes type 2 
the undifferentiated cells they serve as a reservoir for replacing the destroyed odontoblast because undifferentiated cells they can convert into odontoblast fibroblast or macrophages along with that certain young young collagen fibers are also present the last zone if we talk about is the pulpal core okay it is the it is also known as pulp proper it is located in the center of the pulp it contains cells fibers blood vessels nerve fibers there is odontoblastic layer and sub odontoblastic nerve network which combine to form a sensory complex in this region okay it is enveloped by or encapsulated by a sensory complex matlab kya hota hai isme the odontoblastic layer or sub odontoblastic nerve network they combine to form a sensory complex jo ki peripheral sensory unit hota hai jo ki encapsulate karta hai central pulpal core ko in young pulp the core contains men bahut numerous amount of cells whereas in older pulp it contains more amount of fibers now if we talk about the significance of the pulpal zone then it acts as a support system for the peripheral pulp when stimulated by cold heat heat pressure operative procedures and chemicals the nerve causes vasoconstriction of the blood vessels so this is it about the zones of the pulp stay tuned keep visiting thank you